Today's math strategy video is on drawing scaled graphs. So in the previous lesson, we learned how to read pictographs and how to interpret the scale of a graph. So in today's lesson, we're going to build our own pictographs from an example problem. So let's look at the first one. It says Robert records the different bugs he sees. He wants to draw a pictograph using the data in the table. How can Robert make a pictograph? Okay, so I already got my, you know, the kind of the uh, skeleton of my graph here created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the information that he has here in his, and then I'm going to make this little pictograph. And I have my little bug over here to the side. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a title. So it is bugs, and I'm going to make this really more um, science formal, and I'm going to say bugs Robert observed. So that is going to be our title. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, this would be um, type of bugs. And this is the number of bugs. And I'm going to put my little pictures here. So I also need to have my key. So I'm going to kind of put that, um, I'm going to put it right in here. So one of these is going to, I'm going to have this equal, let's see, since all of these are almost even, spiders is not even, but I can do a little half. I'm going to say each of these equals two. So each bug equals two. Let's Number of bugs, each bug equals two. So type of bugs. Okay. First one that he saw was an ant. Next one was a bee, a moth, and a spider. Ooh, I do not want to see a spider. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my, my little bugs over here because I know the scale is each one is two. So I'm going to move them over here to represent the amount of ants. So there were 16 ants that Robert observed. So if each one represents two, that's 16 divided by two. So that's eight. So I need to have eight bugs here. Six, seven, eight. So that would be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. That would represent the sixteen ants that he saw. Now for bees, he saw four, so I just need two, four. I just need two bugs. Moths, he saw six, so that would be two, four, six. Okay, spiders. Now this one's going to be a little tricky because I'm going to need a half. Remember in that previous lesson where we had the half smiley faces? We're going to have to cut one of these little bugs in half, but I'm going to represent at least the eight. So I've got two, four, six, and then eight. Okay, now I'm going to move this here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can just kind of cut it. Maybe I should have cut it in half the other way. Maybe that would be better if I did. Yeah, yeah, so now I've got a little half bug. So this would represent my 16, four, six, and this would represent nine. Okay, let's look at another problem. So this one is our try it problem. It says, what, use what you've just learned to solve this problem. So it says, Lynn records the number of shells she collects at the beach. Draw a pictograph of Lynn's data. Use a scale of 10. Be sure to write a title and make a key and then draw the symbols to show the data. So I do have my little shell down here. So here's our information. It's number of shells collected. So I'm going to make that my title here. Number of shells collected. And I'm going to have this column be the days, and this is going to represent, the, I'm going to have my shells represent these numbers here that she wrote down. So I'm going to have Saturday, Sunday, 
Monday, and Tuesday. Okay, and it already tells me my scale is going to be 10. Um, I would have chosen to have made the shells represent five. Why do you think I would have done that? Well, I would have chose to have these represent five because all of these numbers are divisible by five. So I'm going to have to create a half shell for some of these, but that's okay. So Saturday, it says she collected 20 shells. And if each of these, let's make our key down here. This is going to each shell equals 10 shells. So if on Saturday she collected 20, then that means I need to have one two here to represent my 20. Saturday or sorry Sunday there's 45 so that would be 10 20 30 40 and now I'm gonna have to cut this little shell in half to represent five so I'm just gonna wipe this out right here there we go it wasn't that hard. So Monday is 30 shells. So 10, 20, 30. Tuesday is 15. So that's this one. And then I'm going to need to cut this one in half. There we go. Perfect. So now I've got my number of shells, my days, I have my chart filled out. Let's talk about what are some um, actual, what are some questions that can, I could ask based on this data. So I can ask which day did Lynn collect the most shells? Well, what day did she collect the most shells? So I can look at my graph here and I can even, I can see Sunday. Sunday she collected 45 and that's definitely the most. I can see that in my um, pictograph. How many more shells were collected on Sunday than Tuesday? So, on Sunday and then Tuesday, okay, so if I count this out, ooh, I really meant to do that in a color. If I take that off, this, what they have in common, that leaves me with these shells left. So, that's 30 shells is the difference. Now, how many shells were collected in all? Okay. Let me go back. Let me erase. Now I need to go back and do my halves. But I want it in white. Okay, so how many were collected in all? So I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and then two halves would be, would make a whole. So that would be 100, 110, 110 shells were collected in all. So that is the end of today's math strategy video.